Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to use WHERE clause in SELECT statement in SQL Server. So first of all, why we would like to use the WHERE clause? WHERE clause is used when we need to filter the records. So if we would not use the WHERE clause, we will get all the records from a table or a view. Now, let's go ahead and uh, take a look on some of the examples. First of all, you will be opening a SQL Server Management Studio and then connecting to the SQL Server instance. Once you are connected, you will be going to the database where your table or view or uh, uh, functions uh, does exist. So you can extract the data by using those objects. Here, I'm going to the tables and I have table called total sale. I can also use the views right here if I, I, I would need to. But in this example, I'm gonna use the table called total sale. So if I right click here, say select top uh, thousand rows, it's gonna select uh, top thousand rows for me. Now I'm gonna remove that part and just uh, execute the select statement. Uh, you see that uh, it is returning me all the records. Uh, I have uh, 23 records, uh, but think about different scenarios uh, when you have millions of records uh, and you would like to see the data for only specific criteria. I don't want to see the data for all the regions. I only want to see the data for North America. That could be one condition. Or you want to see the data where your country is null. And there could be a condition you want to see the data where item sold value is greater than three or five. So that condition can be applied as well. Or maybe you want to see all the records from this table where the first name, sale person first name start with the A. So there could be different situations where you have to filter this records. So where class is used to filter those records. We are going to take a look on different examples I have written right here. So the very first example I have here, say get all the records from DBO total sale table for region equal to Asia. So let's say if this is my criteria in simple English, so how I will put it into the T-SQL. I will say select list of the columns here I'm using asterisk, but if I don't want to use the asterisk, I can go to the columns here and grab those columns. Let's remove asterisk and say, if I'm interested to select a salesperson first name, and then I need to put comma here and salesperson last name. So that's how I can build my SQL and select the columns what I need from my table. City and one more column I'm gonna grab called region so you can see we are getting the correct data for this region. So we have select and then we have list of the columns and then we say where from and we provide the object name such as table name or view and then from there we have to add the where clause. We say where and then provide the column and then provide the operator. Here we are using equal to because I want to get all the record where region equal to Asia and then I provide the value. So you see that I have provided in single quotes. So if you have string values such as um, your, like we have a names or a country name and all that, you will be having varchar type or n varchar or char uh, data types. You have to provide the single quotes around it. So this is how you will write your query. Let's execute. Now this is a returning us four columns and only the records where region is equal to Asia. So that's really helpful. And now we are going to go to the next one and say get all the records from DBO total sale table where item sold is greater than three. So we are we want to filter the records where item sold is greater than three. I can also use a, uh, less than three and equal to less than equal to three and all those kind of things. So let's say if I would like to see all the records where uh, item sold value is less than uh, maybe three. Okay or four or whatever you want to provide you can put it here so you see that now we are getting all the records where item sold value is less than three so it is filtering those records let's go to the next scenario where we are saying get all the records where state name starts with the n letter so we can use the like operator here and when we use the like we have to provide let's say we are saying n that's our starting and then we use the percent that means uh, the first letter should match as it is and after that uh, the person defines or tells us uh, that can be anything. So in this case, uh, let's say we have state here and C, you see that N and C, then there could be other uh, starting. Right now we have only NC. 
but I can give you different scenarios here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. So it is going to tell us, bring us all the records where the first letter start with N and the, the rest of the letter doesn't really matter. So that's how we can use like operator. And you see that we have NC and NJ. So first letter is N. That's why we see the NC ones and NJ ones. So that's good. You can you can also have something like this. Let's say, let me go to this table. If I'm interested to see anything that contains H, so it doesn't matter it is on the in the middle or somewhere, I can use something like this. Let's say sale person last name and then we say percent that means any character and then here h and then say percent so that, that that tells us this can be any characters this can be any characters but there should be h in the middle somewhere so if you have it we can see that we see shahzad h is here so we have h here so you see even there is no uh, records on the right here but uh, we as h is uh, right here so any characters before h but uh, then you have h here and uh, doesn't really matter if there is any character if there are fine uh, it is going to bring those uh, so you see henry we have uh, again henry and all that so you can use uh, the like operator I, I will have another video uh, on de uh, detailed video on the like operator how to use them but uh, like uh, where you want to match some of the criteria and get those records so with where class you can use that now if you have multiple conditions so before we did okay where item sold is greater than or less than three and we said that okay where the region is asia or the last name contains h as a part of the uh, this uh, um, string so that that's what we did okay this one contains and all that so now if we want to put multiple conditions we will be using and and or operators so and if we use the and that means the both conditions or maybe if there are 10 you will keep adding and another and so keep adding all the conditions has to be true to return you the record so in this case let's say if I'm saying select asterisk from table where item sold is is greater than 2 and state like n so it is going to check the both conditions and return me the records of which uh, pass this criteria so let's run this one and you see that item sold greater than two fine that's passed all of them and then we have uh, the states uh, which start with uh, n and the re rest of that we don't really care because we have percent all right now if uh, we'll use the or operator to so get all the records where item sold is greater than two or state name starts with the n so we are given option okay if item sold is greater than two or state like n if any of the condition met or if any of the condition is true get me that record so let's run this one so you see that we got a lot of records and here even item sold if you see here let's uh, take a look from here okay so we have item sold greater than two so that 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 passes that one but he, look at this one so item sold is one so this criteria is not passed but this criteria is passed so you see that our state start with n so one of the condition has to be true if you are you want to use further more or operators you can use so if any of that condition will be true then you are going to get the record so if you take a look here so now next even this value you see that greater than this values this condition is true because we have five value here even state is not starting with the character n but still we get that record so and if any of uh, condition will be true out of these two you will get that record again if there are multiple conditions you have a lot of ors if any of the condition will be true you will get the records so we learn how to use and and or operators with our conditions and with where clause to get the records according to our requirements now if there could be another requirement say get all the records where country is null so what you will do say select asterisk from table and where you will have column name and you say is null so that's how you will get all the null values so you see that we are getting only the records where our country is null and sometimes we want to get the records where 
the value is not null so we say select asterisk from dbo total sale table where country is not null so you go ahead and run this one this will return you all the records and we see that the country has the values so this is how you are going to use where clause with different operators such as equal greater than less than like in between so tons of those operators will be there to use and you will be using them according to your uh, requirement and filtering the data so I wish you all the best with the learning sequel and uh, I have the scripts already on, posted on the uh, Tech Brothers IT I will put the link in the description and I will see you guys in next video thanks bye